Here's the exorcist, a believable middle-class home. Mum's all dolled up. Is it coming out, Willie? Yes, I think so. A maid. <coughs> then the scream of evil. A handheld, wide-angle shot captures the rush of fear. And then this. Director William Friedkin's innovation was to slap horror cinema in the face with realism. The Exorcist tells the story of a teenage girl possessed by the devil. The devil's voice was throaty, cigarette phlegmy. Friedkin hired the brilliant actress Mercedes McCambridge to do it. What do you mean, girls? And I'm that devil. Now kindly undo these straps. I had a feeling that if I could become an entity, not a voice, that drives me crazy when people say you were the voice and the exorcist. No. I tried very hard to create a character, a demon, Lucifer. It was a part of the film. To increase the realism of the sound, McCambridge swallowed raw eggs, smoked cigarettes, and got drunk to make her bronchial voice gurgle and emotional. Stranger. They tore a sheet up, and they restrained me, my hands, my knees, my feet, my neck. Uh, look what happens to your voice. It has to happen when you have no freedom. The only way I can do it now is by clutching my hands behind me. Son of a bitch! One of the most innovative vocal performances in movie history. But Friedkin pushed other actors hard too. He slapped this one, who's playing a good priest, on the face, then immediately filmed his trembling response. But Friedkin's techniques were traditional too. He said, I just want to tell a straight story from beginning to end with no crapperoo. He got this no-nonsense approach from, of all people, veteran director Howard Hawks. He was going out with Hawks' daughter. People queued around the block to see the film, to test their stamina as they would on a roller coaster. Tremendous film. Just turned my mind. Well, it's pretty disgusting. Well, I wouldn't take my wife to go and see it anyway. But I just found it really horrible. It just had to come out. I couldn't take any more. Uh, the reaction in America for more reports has been hysterical. Audiences are reported to have been fainting, to have been vomiting themselves, screaming, in the tradition, really, of those great horror films where you get your money back if you don't last the course. An American documentary was made about this audience reaction to The Exorcist. It wasn't glossy like entertainment TV. It was rough and handheld, like the exorcist itself, and caught the panic of people actually fainting. I have my finger on the pulse of America, said Friedkin. These nine words killed the complexity of New Hollywood.